Here are the tests on my Elger Canterbury. I have it set to the line of rust in the tank because there is no water line. I have it using a Fluidmaster 200A because I could not find a matching fill valve, which means this toilet will have no bull rinse, and I am using a generic flapper. So let's give it a flush and see how it does on tests. Like I mentioned before, a better flush than the Rochelle, but I'm not really a fan of these older lowboy toilets. So let's add some water to the bowl and then try a washcloth. This toilet does have some mineral buildup. As you can see there at the opening, I'm not sure if it goes further down, but thankfully there is not a lot. So let's see if it can take a washcloth. I'm hoping it will do well. But anyway, the tank is almost full. Let's give it a try. Did perfectly. Honestly, I was expecting a little struggle, but I was surprised. So now let's try a grocery bag. I don't know how it'll do on this. I think it has the ability to pass it as long as it doesn't take it too late in the flush. So the tank is almost full. Let's see how it does. And the flapper is not closing because the water in the bowl is at the same level as the water in the tank. So I believe that did about as well as the Rochelle did. Honestly, I am sort of impressed because it has a very small trapway. Let's try them together. I don't think this toilet has much hope of passing, but hey, I think the Rochelle took it. And so far, this one's looking better already. But anyway, the tank is almost full, so let's see how it does. Pretty sure that's a failed miserably because the opening is too small. But honestly, that wasn't as hard clogged as I expected. So now let's try a dish towel. I'm thinking this is probably going to pass with a struggle, but I'm still thinking it's going to pass. It tried to take it very early on in the flush, hard clogged. I think it has the ability to pass it, so I'm going to do a retry on that test. So let's add some water to the bowl, and then I'll be right back, and let's see how it does on a dish towel second try.
I think it'll pull through to be honest. But I don't really feel like waiting out here all evening. So I'm just gonna pause this and if it does anything, I'll press play. And I don't really feel like waiting much longer, so I'm just gonna help it. Not very impressive. So now let's get this out from under here so it doesn't get all filthy. And then try a dirt test. And unlike the Rochelle, which I believe I used ash, this is actual dirt. So not sure how this is going to do. But I'm going to pour it all right here just so it gets mixed around. Because once this jet pushes it out, it'll probably swirl all around the bowl. And like I mentioned before, this toilet has no bull rinse, which is why I'm not putting it around the sides. So let's see how it does. I'm guessing it'll do okay. It sort of had issues with just settling on the sides. That would probably be different if it had bull rinse, but overall, it didn't really leave much in the way of floaters. I don't know that there were real too many, but it got a lot of it out of the bowl. I honestly thought it would do worse. So overall, not a bad toilet, but not really that great either. I kind of like it, but not really that great. So if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe and turn on notifications. It helps my channel a lot and I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video.